Hello guys, I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch Lite, just going to some news about it, some simple news, nothing new, and news about Pokemon Sun Shield that was revealed a couple days ago, but I couldn't cover it because no internet, so let's just get into it. So the Nintendo Switch Lite will launch this September on the 20th. The price will be $200, but expect scalpers to pick this up, it's another Nintendo Switch console, it's going to be scalped, so if you want it, you might want to pre-order it. But the colors are yellow, gray, and turquoise. No pink, but I like yellow. No orange, but I like yellow. So, yeah. Um, there's also a Zacyan and a Zamazenta edition, which I'll be calling the Sword and Shield edition because I cannot say those names. But it will launch November 8th, I think, or 11th. I have no 11th in my notes, but I think that's wrong. And Sword and Shield is not included into the Zamazayan and Zamazenta edition. So you have to buy Sword and Shield separately. But it's the same price as the regular editions. Um, the Switch Lite cannot be docked or be played in tabletop mode, which is kind of disappointing. I was expecting it to be docked and be able to connect to Joy-Con so you can do tabletop mode. The screen is slightly smaller, which it, with it being 5.5 inches, which is the Switch's regular size of 6.2 inches. And the battery life is slightly improved. You get roughly 30 minutes to an hour, which is the original model. Now, that's all for the Nintendo Switch stuff. I kind of rushed through that. I just want to get this done. I'm hungry. I have not been able to talk, but let me get into the Pokemon stuff. So if you pre-order the game and select trailer license, you'll get a tracksuit for your character. I like going, so this is pretty amazing. And I have not found out where it is in the US, so if you know where I can get it in the US, please tell me. Nintendo probably knows where it's at and just hiding it for closer until release. That's kind of sad. Pokemon Ramley released a video a couple days ago featuring new Pokemons and Gigantamatsing. Gigantamatsing? Who knows? I don't. I'll probably go over this quickly, so yeah. Our creamy is the fairy type Pokemon, which has a Giganta Mats form, which is a giant cake. Also, our creamy is the best generation 8 mon. Willacoli is a rock type Pokemon, which has flash fire plus water absorb as an ability, minus the effects of like boosting fire type moves and appealing HP if you're hit by the type of the move. So, yeah. The ability is called Steam Engine, which better become Volcanion's new ability. I'm expecting that, Game Freak. You better do it, or I'm not buying the game. Spoilers, I'm probably buying the game. That's probably my least of my boys. Uh, Dor Aladdin. I haven't pronounced the name, I put it on screen. It's the first steel and dragon type that's not a legendary Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Serebi or whoever did this, I'm giving Serebi the credit, translated a new move that this Pokemon has, which is called Azos Beam. It is the most powerful steel type move at 140 base power, but it has a 50% damage recoil. But a new move is always great to know, and it'll become like a you press this once. Um, Gigantamancing is something I haven't looked into, but I think it affects Dreadnought and Corviknight. I put it on the screen, because I have pictures of that. The thing that got me the most excited for Pokemon Sword and Shield out of this was exclusive gems, which is something I was asking for, stuff I want to see in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So in the Sword version of the game, you'd be fighting the fine type gym leader called B. In the Shield version of the game, you'd be fighting the Ghost type gym leader, Alistar. Thanks for watching, but goodbye.